today we're back on Adamela and we're going to be villager hunting. So it's been a hot minute since I've played. Uh, I'll explain as we're hunting, but as you can tell, Norma is moving out. You're getting a sneak peek of my island, but for now, we are going to go and say goodbye to Miss Norma. I had planned to do a pink island for the winter. As you can tell, I changed my simple panels and things. And I was going to do a little pink and blue theme. That's why Bruce is on my island right now and Rosie, because I was going to do a half pink, half blue theme for winter and make it all cute. Um, but... I stopped playing in general, both on my hardcore island that I literally played for a week and then stopped playing, as well as this island. Even though she fits the pink theme, uh, she's been on my island for a very, very long time. Norma was one of my first villagers, um, and it's very bittersweet, but you know what? It's time for the new era. So back in the winter, I fully spent like a week or uh, two weeks uh, recoloring all the furniture I have to be pink or blue uh, because I was going to do this whole series of me designing my winter island and then I just you know got busy and like, my semester started and I got caught up with work and life you know how it goes so I really want to like get back into it I want to see if I can finish my island by the end of April which the day I'm recording this it is April 4th let's take a look at who's on my map right now Cherry and Quilson I have yet to collect their photos so I'm still working on that and I said I didn't want to kick anyone out until I had their photos that way I just have a collection of everyone that's ever lived on my island uh, I'll probably end up keeping Bruce and Rosie just because they're cute and they'll fit the theme somewhat and I'm thinking about just keeping Diana so I would love to replace Cherry Quilson Chief and Flurry and Phoebe I think I'm ready to let go of Phoebe being my first villager. We'll start with 30 tickets. I'm looking for someone blue and pink. So Bruce is a cranky villager, so we might be looking for a jock. Let's just see who we get and see if I'm feeling their personality type. I used to be really big on trying to have one of every villager type, but I think since I'm on a time crunch, I'm just gonna take whatever villagers kind of fit the theme. Uh, I don't think I have a pole vault, which is an issue. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't sell a pole vault. Okay, well, you know, it's fine. Um, let's see who we got. It's, oh, Joey! Joey is very cute. Joey is a lazy. How many do I need? Five. Wait, what is a pole vault recipe? <laughs> huh? Is it wood? Oh, that's awkward. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go get one from my storage. Island number two, and we got, oh, it's giving happy feet. What's your name? Hopper, Hopper, Hopper. It's that one penguin in happy feet. I forgot. I don't know any of their names, actually. Island three. Who we got? Who we got? Um, mm, oh, she's wearing the same shirt that Norma was wearing. Oh, I don't know your name. Sydney? No, 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 no. Wait, she's a koala, right? Mm, I want to say Melbourne. I don't know. <laughs> Melba, okay. Not bad, not bad. Wait, she's cute. She must be normal. She's cute. Wait, she's not pink, but okay. You know what? There's so many like normal villagers that are more pink than Melba. So I think I'm gonna pass, but she's really cute. This is island numero quattro. We have... Oh, Tensheng! Tensheng was on my island. Oh, he doesn't remember me. That's so sad. Okay, so I have two peppies and Bruce is a cranky. And Diana, Cephalobot, Diana is a snooty. Cherry could actually stay. Mm. Well, she's red. So... Hopefully I can get their their pictures by the time I'm done. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. I don't know when I have time to do all that, but we could try. Quilson is a smug, so I'll take a smug, but there are like no cute smugs, which is very unfortunate. So I don't mind not having a smug. Their dialogue's kind of like my least favorite because I had two smugs on my island for like a really long time. I talk as if I actually like chat with my villagers, but it's still nice to have variety. Oh, I see pink. I see pink. Ooh, 
Sky. No, not Sky. Um, I have your amiibo. What's your name? Freya seems snooty to me. She would be perfect, but I have Diana. So, <laughs> okay. So that is uh, Lionel, the the Toilet King. I believe this is eight. Wait, what? Am I choping? I thought we were on island eight and I got 30 kit tickets. So apparently this is island like 14 or something or 13. Oh, he's cute. Look at his shirt. Little froggy shirt. Wade. Oh my gosh, Wade is cute. I would have Wade on my island if I wasn't doing the theme I'm doing. Uh, Apple? No. Gala? No. Mm. Wait, why would I say Apple? Lucy! Is there even a villager named Gala? <laughs> That's a pig. I think there is, right? Also, Lucy looks like Mary, but in pig form. Uh, Nana or Sherry? I don't know. Don't know his name. Oh, her name. Sorry. Cel Celia. Island 17. Who we got? Who we got? Sprinkle! Wait, Sprinkle would be really cute! Well, she's peppy, and I already have Tangy and Rosie, so I have no idea what her name is. <gasps> she's a hamburger! Wait, is she a hamburger or a hot dog? Wait, I'm- wait. She's a hamburger and fries. She's a potato! <gasps> oh? And she's a hamburger on her head. And she's wearing a hot dog shirt. I've always thought of doing like... Or I always thought it'd be so funny if, if someone did a food themed island. And all the animals... I mean all the villagers are just the food villagers. So it'd be like tangy, ketchup, I guess this girl Frida. Takoyaki, I'm like blanking on his name right now. Chai also is, is a food. And meringue. Meringue would be cute. I actually could do that because I have all those little spaces in my island. I could just make each one a different like restaurant and it, I could use all the food items and then just try and find all the food themed villagers. I think that would actually be really funny. I'm going to keep that in the back of my head. Uh, I have no idea. Beardo? No. Barreled. His lips make me a little uncomfortable. 21 or 20. I don't know. Oh, I've always wanted him on my island. He sounds cranky, guys. He is cranky, but I already have Bruce. Oh, man. I've always wanted Murphy. I think he's cute. I like his colors, and he's just a cutie. Should I take him? He, like, kind of fits because he's, you know, springy and stuff. Mm, no, I'm not going to do it. Ah! <laughs> Cries. I was just thinking about how I was like, should I take like green villages too? Chatter. Island 12. Nope, 22. We got chops. Yikes. What is the hair? So cute. The eyes, the all black eyes remind me of runescape when we had no eyes no okay look so like maddie was runescape during the golden ages of runescape and then i am when i represent when runescape started being not as great so when they got rid of the black slits for the eyes i'm convinced 25 <gasps> it's a blue boy cody <gasps> and he's a jock. I'm taking him. Ah, yay! Cody. He's pretty cute. Oh, look at those eyes. All right. Well, there we have it. We got Cody on our 25th ticket. So while we're here, we might as well do the first build. Um, and not really a build, but recoloring is what I'm going to call it. So I have this, which was 
from my winter, no, my fall island. And I love the layout so much that I am going to um, redo it, but just recolor everything because honestly, this build is lit. I'm gonna take all this stuff and we're gonna bring it to Ray and Cyrus and recolor it. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go with, oh, I don't know, a green, pink, or blue. Um, so it's gonna be in front of these, which are for sure gonna be pink. I think I'm gonna do the tension pole rack last. Ooh, that one's good. This one is good. Uh, let me revisit. Go with white for this. I hope the light green looks good. I mean, it should because there's still trees and stuff around. So I think the green will tie in there and it's pretty pastel y. So I don't think it'll be too bad. Plus, there's still like flowers and stuff, like plants. So it should be good. So we have this, this. Okay, attention pole rack. Ah! Very cute already. Oh, I love already. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh man, I am really liking this so far. This is all in a row, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not on the floor, in the dirty street, please. Espresso maker. Oh, so cute. I'm glad we did that color. Right, there it is. Take it in. Good work, y'all. I love how bright and colorful it is. I think it has a good mix of the colors. It's not overpowered by one color. I think we did a great job. Oh, look at Rosie. Can you see her? <laughs> Rosie. Oh my gosh. Okay, first things first, we need to pick a new fence and I think I'm gonna use the pink and blue park fencing for this area. Also, if you haven't watched my fall tour video, um, I would like to explain that my island is very much inspired by Lis the Lass. I just really liked her style of island. And as you can tell, there's a lot of similarities. Um, I use the same pathing she does. Oh, <laughs> drag me. Yeah, I just got back from Ray and Cyrus. I didn't want to go through recording that whole process again. Seeing all these bright colors in Animal Crossing is getting me quite excited for the spring like IRL. Um, it has been such a rainy winter here in California, if you know. Us Californians are not used to how much rain we've been getting um, this past like three months. It's been absolutely crazy. So I'm excited uh, that the sun has been out. It hasn't been necessarily warm, but the sun's been out, which is an improvement. Oh, I didn't do the springy ride on. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, this one will work. Okay, so in the fall, I had a little Halloween stand with candy here. So I was thinking I could put something else here for this spring and I have a couple of options. My initial thought was the wedding stand like this, which is cute. I like her. Um, I also could do bunny day topiary, which very spring. Um, I also got a cinema roll stool. Which is a little more random, but I don't know. I thought it'd look cute. And I could put a little pink soda on it. 
cinema roll table. But I'm thinking of doing like a cinema roll like cafe or like restaurant. Um, okay, that can looks very tiny on there. So maybe not that. Um, and then I got the peach chair. Which you can never go wrong with peach chair. That's actually pretty cute. I think I'll keep the peach chair for now. But if I, I could always change it later. Um, now for these trash cans. I think I want to change this one to white. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Although that was pretty cute. Yeah, I think that I like that better. Or what if I change this one to green? Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so here's the finished park. Very cute, very themed. I love. Um, also, don't mind these red squares. It's just for keeping track of stuff. Now this, doing these two builds have gotten me really excited for designing the rest of this island. Um, obviously it's not going to be as easy as just recoloring stuff, but I'm excited. I hope I can like really keep it and I really want to finish this by April. So fingers crossed I can do that. But until then, um, thanks for watching and I really want to be posting more, but ugh, life just be getting so busy sometimes. So hopefully I'm able to, I want to get back into playing the hardcore island. Um, but for now I'm kind of like itching to design so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video